Welcome to Electron Lecture Online. In this video, we're asked to find the current as a function of time and the energy stored in the inductor after 5 seconds, given that the voltage is equal to 30 T squared. The inductor has an inductance of 5 Henrys. How do we do that? Again, we start with the basic equation that the voltage as a function of time is equal to the inductance times the rate of change with respect to time of the current. And of course, the current is going to be a function of time as well. And if you want to be more technical, I guess we could write this as V as a function of time. It makes it a little bit more clear. So what we need to do is rearrange this equation where we have di by itself. So we can say that di is equal to 1 over L times V dt. So we've rearranged the equation, put the dt over here, put the L down here, and then turn the equation around. So now we want to find the current I, which is equal to the integral of di, which is equal to 1 over the inductance times the integral of V times dt. And we're going to integrate that from time equals 0 to time equals t. Now V is the function that we have over here, which is the function of time. So we can say that I is equal to 1 over L times the integral of 30 t squared dt from 0 to t. Of course, the 30 can come outside the integral sign, so let's just go ahead and put the 30 over here. We can then integrate that, so we can say that i as a function of time is equal to 30 divided by 5, because L is 5 Henry's, times t cubed over 3, and we integrate that from 0 to t. Now, when we plug in the lower limit, 0, we get nothing. When we plug in the upper limit, we simply get t cubed. 3 goes into 30 10 times. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So this becomes equal to 2t cubed. And writing that again on the side, so we can say that i sub t, or i as a function of time, is equal to 2t cubed. And of course, the units would be in amps if we put in the proper units for time. Next, we want to find the work done to after 5 seconds, or the amount of energy stored after 5 seconds. So what we can say here is that the work done is equal to 1 half times the inductance times the current. And of course, that would be the work as a function of time is equal to the current as a function of time, or the work done when time equals 5 seconds is equal to 1 half times the inductance times i. Let me just write it like this, times i when time equals 5 seconds. That's what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and plug that in. So this is 1 half times the inductance of 5 Henry's times the time, which is right, whoa, 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 right here. Wrong time. This is my time equation. There's 2, so times 2 times t cubed, and t would be 5 seconds cubed. So I've taken i, which I got right here from the previous answer, plug in the 2, plug in the time, raised to the third power. So what this, so 1 half and 2 cancel out, so this is equal to 5 to the fourth power, 5 to the fourth power, which is 25 times 25, which is 625, so this is equal to 625 joules would be the work, whoop, the work, when time equals 5 seconds. And that's how we do that. 